and uh, we're going to introduce to you something right here right now. This is um, the Dr. Clark Mag Zapper, and I'm going to tell you something. You know, I'm not a medical professional, but I'm just going to tell you something that I've read extensively on. Actually, I saw medical doctors, some a team of medical doctors actually doing this in Italy. Italy. Um, but they've used this on animals too, stroke victims, animals that were stroke victims, dogs and cats, and they couldn't move their hind legs. Now, you do know that it's most important to begin therapy right away. Now, I'm not telling you this is in place of regular therapy. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you that as a family member, if one of your family members has a stroke, uh, make sure that they do the therapy immediately and also you can get in there and help too and do it on off times when they're not doing it because the earlier and more often they have therapy uh, the faster the stroke victim recovers but um, I'm gonna bring this up because uh, I'm not I'm not pushing to sell this product or anything like that I'm just telling you that um, this is uh, a product that could be well I'm gonna say from my research I've not experimented with this. I read in a team of Italian doctors did this. I've also read uh, they did this with animals. Um, was they used the mag pulsar across the body? Now I know there's been a lot of claims about this mag pulsar. The mag pulsar supposedly stimulated nerves and helped bring back, um, you know, the function of the dog. So, uh, like you turn it on. In this case. You can see it's. I got it on full power. This is a non. This is an adjustable one where you can turn down the. You can make the speed go faster, and you can also make the intensity lower by that and the speed faster. And also you can make it beep. If you don't like the audible beep, you can turn it off. You could or you, well, I just changed the in, uh, intensity. Full intensity is slower. It's got to build up a charge, and what you use on it is Bio North. It's not the same as the Compass Magnetic North. It's actually the Magnetic North that's found on a geographical or biological North Pole. So the North Seeking Needle of the Compass points to Bio North. But they have this correctly marked. Anytime you pick up, should be anytime you pick up any type of these magnets for therapy. Now it's the pulse magnetism that allegedly will help with stroke victims. I really don't want to put this out here because, you know, I'm putting this out here as a non-medical professional, but I'm going to tell you that it has done tremendous work on animals. And I do not remember the reference because I read it years ago. I was not going to put this out here. And I says, you know, um, I just had a family member that died two days ago and he had a stroke. Um, several years ago when he was in a wheelchair and you know I tell people about but you know um, he did not do this I didn't he, you know I tell people about it but I don't like try to force the issue I tell them about it once and eh, you know so it's like even with a family member I would try this because it basically doesn't hurt I already have the device it is it is about 350 400 bucks or something you know that's what they they run I'm not telling you to buy one, go out and run, and run out and buy one. I have nothing to do with the manufacturer. Soda Instruments makes a very, very good one. This is a very good one, too. Um, you use the Bio North side, almost all situations. Um, but basically, what you're trying to do is stimulate the nerves in the body. And that little bit of magnetism is actually stimulating the nerves. And I'll say that allegedly, but it does work very well on animals. Um... There's been a lot of claims about these types of devices that they can, you know, um, kill microbes. That might be true in a 20,000 gauss magnetic pulsar. These are typically 5,500 to 6,000 gauss. They do not kill microbes. I don't know if they slow them down a little bit. That's the alleged theory. I've read all the books about magnetism, which is not pulse magnetism, by Rawls and Davis. They were the two experts. I think there's six or seven books by them rare books there is something to this but in a world of trying to bring back a person with stroke therapy I would tell you do 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 exactly what the doctors tell you to do but um, you might want to try something like this too especially if they did not get full function back 
Um, there have been cases where dogs were dragging their hind legs and they did this kind of treatment on the dog and the dog was running around. So, you know, a lot of times veterinary advice sometimes really does carry over to the human world. But um, be that as it may, I don't know if this, this would probably would not be a medical expense uh, or anything because it's not considered a medical device. Um, but the magnetic therapy um, science that's back behind it, there is a science. It's not BS. There's a lot of different things they talk about, you know, growth rates, um, how things, I'll turn off that noise, that beeping noise, how things can be influenced, how the body can be influenced, how the body can be stimulated. Um, the other thing is, uh, there's differences between a, a permanent magnet that you're using applying to the body, and there's different lengths of times that they use. The whole, there's a whole uh, theory behind it. Actually, Rawls and Davis went through a lot of that. And actually, anytime people are talking about magnetic north, if they're a magnetic therapist, they are talking about the exact opposite that you think of as a, I guess, a navigator or an engineer. Um, what they talk about, when they talk about magnetic north, they are usually almost always referring to bio north, the north that's found on a geographical North Pole. So anyway, I just want to put this out here because it may save. I'll tell you the truth. If somebody in my family would accept this as a treatment, um, I would do this in addition to anything that the medical people said to do uh, for strokes. It just basically, you know, magnetize. You know, if it's the left arm and right arm, just go along it with the pulser. Um, I would try it. I don't know if it would work. I don't, you know, I'm not. I can't be playing doctor here, but you know, if it was on me, if it was on somebody else, I would definitely use this. I just want to put this word out here because I think the information is not just hearsay. I don't think it's garbage. It's amazing that they don't pick up this type of stuff. But there's been a lot of other things that are simple and amazing that are just not being picked up because I don't know why. I really don't know why. But they did have very good results with animals, and I did. I, I cannot give you the link, but I know I've read a couple years ago there was a team of Italian doctors that were experimenting with this with stroke victims. Um, so, you know, be that as it may, I personally would try this. Now, I know there's other things out there I was kind of looking into. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this. It was color light therapy. I just used an LED light here. You can see the light change color. I don't think that is... <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. I have a really vague opinion on this, something like this. But I'll take a look at a lot of different things. But I know light is a frequency. So that's a separate subject. Um, but I would try to not invest too much money in some of these things because I don't know. I think they work in certain applications. A lot of this alternative stuff or they help a little bit. But um, you gotta always look at what you're getting for it out of for the money. And the other thing is, um, there's more exaggerations probably in the quote unquote alternative health therapy healing, whatever you want to call it, than there is even in the medical world. You know, a lot of people are go all one way. They'll say, "Oh, the medical world is all garbage," and then they'll be all on the side of the quote unquote nat nature's healing and the alternative. And then some people are completely the opposite way actually it's a mixed bag but there are a lot of exaggerations there's been a lot of exaggerations with this device i heard um it may actually there's been patents out i'll just put this on here there's been patents that 20 patents not not proof patent is not a proof but patents that state that over 20,000 gauss will actually um start to kill the microbes with a pulser now this is only 5,500, and I think sodas is uh, 6,000 gauss. It will not kill microbes. Maybe it'll slow it down a little bit, but that's about it. That's And that's not enough to do the job. But as far as in the application of um, stroke therapy, this may be a good thing to add on. And also, uh, what's been proven many times with magnetism, even in the medical world, is that it works with pain management. You have a sprained ankle, a lot of times applying this to the sprained ankle, the north side, 
not this south side. The south side is stimulation. The north side is usually healing. 99% of the time you want to use the north side. You will use the south side, and that doesn't mean south magnetic. That means this, the, the type of magnetism found on the south pole, bio, bio south or geographical south. You will use the south side when you want to stimulate growth when there is absolutely no chance of infection present. So in most cases, you will definitely not use the south side. So just want to put this out here. It could be, you know, I can't play doctor, uh, but I just want to give you some advice. I try to really sift through what's the garbage and what, and I leave out the garbage probably out of 99 point something things I read. Most of them are thrown out. I will not give you hearsay garbage. I'll try to give you the best information. And um, the, when I see things that are done in the, in the veterinary world and some experimental things with healing with animals and stroke victims of animals and are dragging their hind legs and they get good results with this magnetic pulsar, um, I think there is something to it. So be that as it may. And uh, if my cats ever have a stroke, you're getting a magnetic pulsar, baby. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. But they're young cats. They're only three years old right now. So they should be good for a long time. Right, little live Rocky? We're going to be healing cats if we ever have a problem here, right? You okay with that? You be my assistant, huh? Be my cat assistant. You're a smart guy, aren't you? I think you understand English. <laughs> You can't talk English, but I think you understand some of these words, man. You're a smart little cat, buddy. I'll tell you what. For the guy that was always hiding under the bed, you sure turned out to be something else. Anyway, you take care of little munchkin, alright? Eh.